What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel where we give you daily and weekly updates on the crypto space. Trading with as much as sometimes 261 million in daily trading volume NFTs on OpenSea have topped $4 billion in trading volume for the month of January. Um, <clears throat> we are up nearly 20% from the previous peak of $3.4 billion in August. Um, according to Dune Analytics. So NFTs are definitely, definitely popping right now. Um, there has been no lack of influencers, celebrities, um, artists, etc., movie actors, etc., that are jumping into the NFT space, releasing their own collections. Um, Johnny Depp, Paris Hilton. Um, there is just so many influencers that are jumping into this space and making it more prominent than what it already is. Obviously, the market currently um, with the downtrend that we are in has been kind of sluggish. So a lot of people um, transferred all of their holdings from either exchanges and wallets to um the nft space and the different platforms like OpenSea, magic eden salon art um etc because that is where the money is to be made right now in this bear market that we are in um if you didn't know um just recently about a day or two ago jerome powell announced um with the fomc meeting that interest rates are going to be super hiked um we're looking around march to see exactly how high they're going to be but um we could possibly potentially go into a recession is this going to be like the internet uh boom crash i don't know is it going to be like the 2000 2008 financial crisis i don't know um i do want to say i am not a financial advisor this is not financial advice don't ever take anything i or any other youtuber says for facts and always do your own research and know that the crypto market is extremely volatile you can lose a lot of money but you can also potentially make a lot of money so with that being said we are going to jump right into it um the market currently bitcoin sitting at thirty seven thousand five hundred and eighty two dollars up two percent for the day ethereum twenty five hundred up six percent for the day um we're making micro corrections to the upside but we are far from the key levels um that we need to be in um honestly if bitcoin doesn't go over forty four thousand anytime soon um i'm kind of more focused on the nfts and different land sales gaming etc but as far as like um i do think it would be a good idea to allocate funds um, right now in order to put them later on into the market but currently with the, the way things are looking it's just more safe um to be in the nft space not saying that the nft space is safe because it is definitely not it is actually more risky than um cryptocurrency in general so keep that in mind but there is more money flowing through nfts right now than there is in tokens and coins so that is my point that i am trying to make um currently for the day we are sitting at 150 million in volume on OpenSea. um you can see the past two days we've been breaking 200 million almost a quarter of a billion dollars um so there has just been and you can see the line kind of forming just a nice uptrend um and we're in a bear market so that tells you where the money's being flown to right now and everything is flooding into the nft space and today we are going to be talking about an nft project um a collection of 1111 retro wolves um this is dropping on the solana ecosystem on january 30th at 7 30 p.m that is utc time zone um the mint price is going to be 1.5 solana that is the pre-sale mint price i do want to say that that is the pre-sale mint price um i believe almost 900 out of a thousand um whitelist spots and maybe 850 out of a thousand whitelist spots have been taken right now so uh be quick but um, the wallets that will be compatible for this project is going to be Phantom, Soul Flare, and Solid. Uh, the sales platform is going to be Magic Eden. Um, their Discord currently has around 60,000 members. And their Twitter, you can obviously see, is sitting around 19,000. 
Um, the two things that I want to say about this project is with the supply being so low at just a thousand um, in the collection and you can see right here there's 20,000 uh, followers just on their um, Twitter if we go to the discord you can see they have 60 yes yeah, 60,000 last time I checked it was 59 so they're definitely still growing um, 60,000 members in the discord this collection only has a thousand pieces guys so the the demand for how low of a supply this collection is is definitely what makes it valuable um, it's very sought after they have a great community which is always good for blue chip project potential um, and the artwork is just extremely, extremely dope. They are uh, doing whitelist uh, spots through Twitter, through their Discord. They're having art uh, contests, etc. So they are one of the, you know, um, projects that obviously likes to reward um, the most active members in the community. So if you are looking for a whitelist spot, there still is time. There still is giveaways. So it's not like you fully missed the boat. And there is also always secondary market. Um, but guys, I, did, I just want to say, keep your eyes out on this product. I just want to say, keep their website. The Retro Wolves were a small faction of six wolves who were against the domesticated as well as savage forest wolves of the past. They believed in interspecies inter unity through knowledge and self-improvement. They found cutting edge technology and knowledge in a cave located in the North African forest. Um, it goes on to say how uh, they were building this time machine to become heroes through time. They set the course for 207070, but due to complications with the dial, they were transported to 1980. So they got fascinated by the aesthetics of the retro age and developed their styles around it. After their time machine was fixed, they continued their course for 207070, but kept their retro attires intact. So there's a little bit of lore for you guys. Um, you can read more into everything on their site and the different socials, etc. that I will leave in the comment uh, or the description area. Um, but just looking at the art here, definitely dope. Um, kind of like some 3D animated GIFs, kind of got like a Kaiju King Cyber Kongs type vibe to it. Not saying that it's going to do anywhere near those numbers at all. Um, actually, it probably won't, but uh, the artwork is definitely dope. Um, try to snipe out some rare trades, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I've been thinking about doing a video for some bots that actually help you um, like automatically mint projects, automatically snipe rare trades, tell you what trades are what, what's the rarity, how many trades are on or in the collection, etc. different attributes, etc. So tell me if you guys would like something like that. Um, we love engagement here, so definitely do that. Um, <clears throat> it goes on to say how a community is only a strong or a project is only as strong as its community. Um, they support people who are passionate and dedicated to their project. Um, their moderator, moderators will select and whitelist the most dedicated members of the community, alpha groups, and influencers. So obviously they're going to reward the people who are, you know, getting it popping in the Discord, promoting the project on Twitter, you know what I'm saying, saying good things about it, etc. Um, you know, the bots are going to track who does what, etc. The most engagement. And those people are going to be the ones that get whitelisted. Currently, there is already about 880 whitelist spots out of a thousand. So they are filling up very fast, but it is not too late. Um, the whitelist people will enjoy a big uh, advantage. This is at the sale. The selected people will get the golden opportunity to mint one Retro Wolf NFT for just 1.5 soul pre-sale. This way we give something back to the passionate members who help their community to grow. So that leaves out about 111 that they are, you know, obviously that's the giveaways. That's the um, ones that they give out to different influencers to give away, whitelist spots, etc. So, uh, but a thousand of them are permanently whitelist there's no you know what i'm saying if ands or buts about it so they're going to be going straight out sold out straight on the secondary which is where the uh, floor price will increase exponentially from there if all goes well um so the holders from the last stage 
will gain access to an alpha group, different perks, and a future whitelist for various other projects. So that is a nice piece of utility right there. Um, giving, you know, believers, early believers in the project, future whitelist spots for other projects. Um, whitelists are where all the money is. There's actually a statistic that says 75% of people who get whitelisted and mint a project, 75% of those people automatically make profit only 25 percent of people that buy on secondary and flip make profit so that's definitely something to keep into consideration um but there will be a future generation of retro wolves so that's like you know a secondary collection from you could call this the genesis collection so you know they may have some baby wolves or you know something like that so I think they might integrate some like stealth utility in the future um, depending on you know how good the growth of the community does in the mint and how everything plays out um, they will market their collection through collaborations and social media platforms and gain credit through the support they have gotten up until now so guys quick run through again they're mining on the 30th of january at 7 30 p.m that's utc time zone the pre-sale mint price is 1.5 solana um get on phantom wallet soul flare or a soul flare solid etc those are all compatible with this mint um sale will be launching on magic eden launchpad and um so they do uh, say here they are primarily a community art project if you are waiting for any play to earn breeding etc we suggest you not to mint it is our top priority to stray clear from phony promises so it is not saying that they aren't going to implement these in the future if growth doesn't do well and mint doesn't do good you know what i'm saying if everything plays out they could definitely you know stealth drop some future utility into this project but as of right now, they want to keep it genuine. They want to keep it, you know what I'm saying, as trust, as trustful as they possibly can and honest as they possibly can. So they're not saying that, you know, they're going to integrate into the sandbox or Decentraland, et cetera. They're not saying any of those things that a lot of other projects are probably going to fail. They're, they're probably going to go to zero. Like, you know what I'm saying? Most NFT projects are going to zero and most NFT projects do not deliver on their roadmap like they say. So that is why doing your research is always key in this space. But um, their their big thing is just building a community um, to project organically, you know, just good growth. And they believe that a strong community is a must for a blue chip project. So they're obviously trying to become a blue chip. Um, they definitely have the high volume of community, um, low supply as far as collection goes. So that is definitely two of the biggest perks there, um, as well as future whitelist spots for various projects, you know, um, kind of like a launch pad. So that is the project for today. Leave a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the uh, bell notification if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. But until the next video, stay profitable.